What's up everybody, this is Josh over at Drone Days. Today we're gonna on today I learned we're gonna be looking at power consumption of the TBS full size crossfire. Let's take a look at it. I'm gonna be using the Tyrannus 9XD for this test. And we will also be using this GT Power RC power meter. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the TBS Crossfire hooked up through the back pins to the JR module. So as you can see, I'm running 500 milliwatts through, well, that's the output power that it's giving. And if we look a little bit further, I have my settings actually set at two watts. So there's a safety feature where it doesn't allow you to pull more um, than 500 milliwatts through the back without using a external battery. So I would just, you know, if there's a safety feature, it does give you the option to override it. I didn't actually want to mess with that, so um, I would just add some extra batteries to the back. So these connectors, they're an XT30 um, input connector, so if you want to add anything, it does come with one. Um, an XT30 to a JST, I think is what it is. Um, I just made my own connector, <clears throat> so it's a XT30 to a XT60, and then I have a um, lithium ion battery pack. It's like 4200 milliamps and uh, seven, it's a two cell. Uh, so <clears throat> I have uh, it wired in series and in parallel. So it's a good option. And uh, again, once we look at the power uh, settings, you're going to see that it doesn't pull as much as you would think. So let's go ahead and we'll get this thing hooked up. Um, the GT Power RC, I would say <clears throat> it's pretty accurate for what we're doing. Now, I'm sure there's way more accurate meters out there. Of course, there are. Uh, <clears throat> so, anyways, we'll go ahead and get this hooked up in line to our uh, crossfire, and uh, we'll see what our power settings are. 10 milliwatts. We're going to get draws of 0.18 amps, or 1.4 watts. So, from 10 to 25... Not too much change, 0.2 uh, amps, 1.5 watts. Now we're increasing this to 100 milliwatts, so let's go ahead and see what our power consumption is. This is 500 milliwatts, 0 0.33, 0.34 amps or 2.5 watts, 1 watt, it's 0.4 amps or 7.68, I'm sorry, 3.0 watts, and then this is 2 watts. So it's not exactly a double increase in power when you've increased your, your wattage from an amp standpoint. But, you know, you're doing over half a amp in an hour. So as you can see, you can easily uh, drain your batteries down. Um, so it's best to put turn, make sure your dynamic power is on and that'll adjust your power settings accordingly based off of link quality. And then <clears throat> your input power in the back, uh, according to TBS, you can do a 2S up to a 3S battery and according to them, they say at 25 milliwatts, 1.1 watts, and at 2 watts, 3.2 watts of consumption. So as you can see, we're pretty pretty close. Um, and now this is all going to be their bench testing versus my adapter and um, and everything. So um, <clears throat> if you guys have any questions, uh, leave them in the comments. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, that helps this channel out. Uh, we'll see you next time.